Hello Overbury Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overbury Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, we need to keep talking about the real house with Overbury Hills because Kathy Hilton did an interview, like a whole interview to TMC and the bitch destroyed Lisa Rena. She keep talking about Erica Jane and she is giving news that I don't know if they're gonna be good at the end of the day and it is a mess and we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank button right here and let's talk about this a mess hey yo meal no Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Welcome back everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Rose Forever. Girl, these roses are natural real roses and they have a special treatment and they will last up to a year just like this. They won't die. I don't know how they do it. They smell incredible and it's just like a perfect gift. They have all kinds of colors, all kinds of sizes, uh, different boxes. Like if you want to say, I love you, I miss you, I want you, like whatever you want to say, happy birthday, happy anniversary, like anything these are the perfect gift okay so if you want to get your roses go to the link on the description of this video and do not forget to use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order all right they ship everywhere so go and get your roses right now and let me know in the comments if you got them okay what color did you got what box did you got let me know all right guys so let's talk about this interview because one thing is for sure and is that kathy hilton is <sighs> extremely hard you know i mean right fully so like she some of these ladies, especially Lisa Rena, Erica Jane, and Kyle, they treated Kathy Hilton so horribly during the season. I mean, we saw it over and over and over how they just treated her like shit. You know, they didn't let her do, uh, like, not do, but... It was like a whole conspiracy the whole time. And that's the worst part. It was a whole conspiracy the whole time to take Kathy Hilton out. And the worst part is it's just because she was so successful on her first season as a friend. So they decided, oh, no, this bitch is getting racist. This bitch is getting all the attention. We need to take her down. And Lisa Rena was behind everything, of course, with... Um, Erica Jane, and they got the green light from Carl Richards, okay? So I will definitely understand why Kathy is so hurt and why she wouldn't probably want to come back to the show anymore, right? So um, she did an interview. Uh, well, it was not like a full interview. Like, she was walking around with Faye Resnick and TMC caught her and, you know, they start asking these questions. But it was very impressive because usually these celebrities, as soon as they, like, you know, saw TMC, they're all like, no comment, no comment, no comment, you know, and they're like, like they say, like, a little thing and they just keep walking or whatever. Mm -mm -mm. Kathy Hilton was like, nope, hold my beer, bitch, because I'm gonna tell it everything. She said that she knew from the beginning that it was a setup that a lot of people, not only fans, but people from production told her, be careful with that little Rena bitch because she is trying to come for you and she's planning a takedown, you know? And she anyways decided to, you know, keep doing the show um, after they finished with the whole Paris Hilton wedding and all of that, she was like, okay, I'm still gonna do the show. She was... I mean, I'm guessing it's a little bit hard to believe that your own sister, your own sister will let these two bullies do that to you. So I'm thinking that maybe people told her to Kathy, hey, they're, they're planning to take you down. They're planning to take you down. And she will maybe thought like, 
do you know why like my sister is there i don't think that my sister will ever allow something like that i mean she will defending me right and well that didn't happen and now her heart is broke and now we are seeing the real face of kyle and who i mean all these years kyle spent year after year after year talking about oh how kathy was so bad and oh my god the relationship is so broken i will do anything to have my family back you know and like she doesn't let it she doesn't let my, uh, the girls invite mauricio to the wedding she doesn't let do this she doesn't let do that you know well who end up being the bad one now who is the one now who gave the green light to two bullies to go after her, her own sister and then not say absolutely anything, nothing, zero defense. So I, I understand why she saw her. She, or she said that she knew it was a takedown. She was very disappointed. Um, she said something that it was so true. If Kathy Hilton was having a mental breakdown, I mean, that's the words that Lisa Rena used, a mental breakdown. Do you think that the right thing wouldn't be to call, I don't know, 911, uh, Kyle, because that's her sister, uh, Kathy Hilton's husband, I don't know, Faye Resnick, call freaking Kris Jenner. I mean, I think you, you said that Kris Jenner was your BFF. Call her, right? Oh, no, no, no. What is Lisa Rena doing? telling everything to Erica Jane and running to the press as it was happening. Because let's remember, we all knew about the meltdown literally as it was happening. Literally the next day after it happened, the whole world knew that Kathy Hilton had a mental breakdown. Who did that? If, if they were alone, just the two of them, who did it? Well, there is your answer, right? So... Um, she said that, and then they asked her about, you know, the relationship with Kyle. She said that he's no good right now. She said that, um, she will be, you know, Kathy Hilton is classy. So she literally said hi, even to Lisa Ren at BravoCon, but that didn't mean anything. She hasn't reconciled with her. She doesn't want to reconcile with her. She wants her out. Okay. And talking about out, they asked her if she will come back to the show. She said it once. I'm Bravo Chella. I'm Bravo Chella, I'm sorry. That's my show. I'm Bravo Con. Uh, she said it once. Um, I will not come back if those two are back. And she said it again. If those two bullies, by name, Lisa Rena and Erica Jane, are back next season, I will not come back to that show. Oh, and this is the thing. Usually, ultimatums don't do good in Bravo. Every single housewife who have tried to give ultimatum usually doesn't work out but in this case in this case i feel that bravo and the executive of nbc and bravo who were at BravoCon, were able to see for themselves how people are disgusted by those two so i think this is the perfect moment for them to listen to kathy hilton and the fans because this is not just what Kathy Hilton wants, okay? We're talking about a good 80% of the fans who wants Lisa Rena and Erica Jane out. So anyways, that's it. That was the whole interview. If you want to actually watch it, go to my TikTok. It's right there, Real And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.